Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and it's your girl Kenya, and I got my husband Q. Q here today, and we're gonna be telling a story about. I walked from Ocala, Florida, to Orlando, Florida. A lot of people do not believe this story, but we're here today to tell it as it is. Is okay. He walked from if guys don't know in Florida. Ocala, Florida <laughs> to Orlando, Florida is exactly, let me look it up to tell you, you know exactly how far it is? It's maybe 120 miles. But walking is approximately 24 hours to walk from Ocala to Orlando. Driving in a car is one hour and 16 minutes. My husband walked from Ocala to Orlando. No BS, dead serious, okay? Go ahead and tell him, cause I wasn't there to, like what made him do that. I was in Orlando at the time waiting for him to get home. And he was in, he was working in, in Ocala. So like on the weekends, he would drive. Like I say, it's only an hour away. So on the weekends, he would normally drive from Ocala to Orlando. Because we originally lived in Ocala. And we moved to Orlando because Orlando was a lot better to no, me. Plus that tornado. Okay, the tornado. It was a lot of reasons why we moved. But I just really always preferred Orlando. But he decided one night because of what? It was your job or the truck? What? Something happened. Go Every, ahead and tell them. Everything went wrong. I think that day I had to, I went to, I did a little more work than I was supposed to. And uh, the truck broke down. Then I then tried to get the truck fixed, my work truck. Then the car broke down. So I had no choice. It was either stay in a motel or walk home. So I was already pissed. So it went from me supposed to be doing, uh, um, oh, I know what it was. Mm -hmm. Me, I can't say his name, huh? Mm -mm. Me and Fruit Loop got into it. Okay. We got into it because Fruit Loop uh, switched my load with his load. And he didn't want to do it. So what he did was, because he got there before me, he switched my load he switched the, uh, the last load with me, and I got stuck with that. So I was I was supposed to be off at 1.30, but I ended up getting off at 6 o'clock that night. So by the time I got to the job, everybody was gone. I was like, ass out. So I had like 60% uh, left on my phone, so I called her. I was like, hey, got a problem, truck down. Car down. Yeah, I didn't think he was going to be able to make it home. I was home with my oldest daughter at the time. She was like... Six, seven months. Yeah, she was pretty young. So it was just me and her home at the time waiting. Like I said, on the weekends is when we normally expect him to come home. So when he called me and told me he wasn't going to be able to make it, and it was all this that was going on, and the car was... Everything was just like going bad that day, that weekend. Everything was just going bad. So I was like, well, how you going to get home? Like, what you going to do? How you going to get home? Like, after he came home for the weekend, he would go right back to work. So we literally only had those two days to see him. So we waited from Monday all the way to Friday. And on Fridays is when we, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is the only time that me and my daughter would spend time with him. So when he told me he wasn't going to be able to make it, I was pissed. I was very pissed. I was like, this cannot be like, you know, this just this can't be. So, that's when he decided that I was going to, uh, <laughs> I was going to walk home. He decided to walk home, y'all. And I didn't believe him. I didn't believe him when he told me he was going to walk or he even, I don't even know he told me, I don't remember you even telling me that you even decided to walk. Until, I think you just called me and I was like, well, where are you? Like, what are you, I thought he just was like, all right, he's just going to stay or he's going to get a motel or something. So, I'm like, I called back about an hour and I'm like, what are you doing? Where are you? And he's like, I'm walking. Yeah. And I'm like, 
walking. Walking where? Where are you going? And he's like, I'm coming home. And I'm like, you coming home? Yeah. What? Like, are you for real right now? And he's like, yeah, I'm walking and coming home. And I'm like, it's dark outside right now. It's late night. It's dark. And I'm scared. Like, I don't think I even slept that night. <laughs> I don't think I slept because, then, like I said, his phone. Oh, it died. It died. The phone me. eventually died. Like, that was like 11, 12 o'clock. Yeah. And I was like yeah. up in and out of sleep. I was in and out of sleep because I just kept calling him. And back then. Next tails was in. If anybody know about next tails, <laughs> yeah, where you we just where you chip, yeah twerp. had a little twerk noise, so yeah. I just kept waiting for that twerk noise for him to tell me to update or something, and I just kept thinking like it is dark outside, and Ocala is nothing but woods. woods. Yeah. So I'm like, what do you mean? Like, how are you gonna walk? That's a long, long walk, and this man. If anybody know anything about Marion County, 40, inside of uh, oh Ocala, Florida, uh, over there where they shot the Tarzan movies, um, that's uh, a national forest. So when I tell you, like, uh, I pretty much I pretty much ran uh, when I got to the west side of 40, and I ran all the way down to, well, that was a little past uh, Umatilla, toward, oh, actually Mount Dora. I, I actually just was I ran until I got to Mount Dora. By the time, by the time I want to say about one two o'clock in the morning, I had then stopped in Mount Dora and got something to drink. It's a Publix that sits there, and I stopped there and I thought that I could catch a bus, not knowing really where the buses run or where they go and nothing like that. And I stopped there and I got me um, some water, some chips. And that was the first time I had a Red Bull. And boy, let me tell you something. When I sucked that sucker down, I took off. But now, here's the funny part, but bad part about it at the same time. I think I got to the house about Saturday afternoon. He got to the house. It was late when you got, wait. No, no actually, you got there early. I got there like Saturday afternoon, like 12. Like 12, yeah. And yeah. I was, and let me tell y'all. Didn't you end up getting a ride or something? No. Yeah, you end up getting like... No. Oh, you know what it was? That's the funny part about it. Was it was the police, right? Was yeah. I wouldn't, well, the police took me to the bus stop, uh, the bus station, and when I got there, it was like three lights, three or four lights down. Of course, he searched me because he thought I was a crackhead or whatever. <laughs> and, you know, plus I had been running and dealing with feet already, so, you know, I probably smelled like a bucket of you know what. But, um... Yeah, I got there, and the bus didn't come, so by the time I got home... Let me tell y'all. <laughs> let me tell y'all. When this man told me, um, when this man walked through the door, like, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it because I haven't heard from him in some hours. I had yeah, went to sleep. my dad and everything. <laughs> man, I had went to sleep, woke up, and I was so worried. I was so, so worried. And I'm like, what the heck? I cannot believe this man actually did it. I'm like, he's lying. He's lying. He actually walk from Ocala to, to, to home, to Orlando. So when he walked in the house, when I tell y'all... Like, he walked in and he just dropped to the freaking floor. Like, literally walked in the door and just dropped. His shoe busted open. Busted open. Those busted brand new shoes. <laughs> Those busted shoes open. was open like literally it was a hole on the side. I'm gonna insert a little <laughs> picture <laughs> if I can. It was a big old hole in the shoe, and I'm like, what's uh, what? Like, oh my gosh, my I cannot believe his feet were blistered. Was so bad. Literally, yeah. I didn't even want to touch him when he came in the door. I did not even want to touch. He was just laying stretched out on the floor. Just stretched I think I out. He slept until Sunday. He slept. And I was like, I was trying not to, to seem selfish because it was like I was happy to see him, but then he, I knew he was tired. The man just walked all the way from, from Ocala. Ocala to Orlando. So I was trying to be not be selfish. Like, I literally sat in the corner the whole time just watching him, like, waiting, like, when you going to get up? When you going to get up? Yeah. But he slept. The time, it's like all that day he walked, he slept that whole time. Yeah. And I just was like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe you walk. But then, it was Saturday when he came. Saturday, Saturday, and normally he would leave Sunday. So I literally only had, what, he opened his eyes Saturday night or whatever. And then Sunday, 
he had to go back. So it was that was it was like why did you even come? <laughs> it was really no point of coming because mm. then then what you had to get a ride to go back. I had to, I got a ride to the. Uh, he had to get a ride, ride to, to go the, back to the uh, train station. Yeah. Young, young. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And it was too. The reason why he didn't get a train. Because it was too late, and he didn't have, like you said, when he got back to the job, everybody was already gone. Yeah. So, and it's not like he had a lot of friends or whatever that it was he, in Ocala. It was well, coworkers, but yeah, it wasn't. Co-worker, but I, I didn't. They was on. We was on different channels in life. Right. So it was. I know you guys probably have a lot of questions. Like, well, why didn't he do this? Why didn't he do that? It was a lot of things that transpired that night. That it was. Inside of Ocala, put yourself in that sh- in, in his shoes. Like, if you don't know anything about Ocala, Ocala, when I tell you the whole town shuts down, yeah, at eight o'clock, and that's one of the reasons why I that's just, it. I just cannot, I can't see myself living there anymore. Well, actually, it's not a bad place to live if you're of age, not for but, me. <laughs> I mean, as far as the cost of living and stuff, but that place there, they have their own set of rules. And I, I, I would, I would advise everybody, uh, <laughs> you better play by their rules. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's not a, uh, that's, uh, I, I'm gonna leave it like that. But yeah. I did. I mean, I, I, I ran and I walked home. I really ran and come home and get some. <laughs> um, but. But he yeah. ended up getting there because he was so damn tired. So. Yeah, I came because I, I was, I was, I was. Whew. He was so tired. She but was, she that was talking, just... talking that stuff to me over the church. So, uh, I had to put it to work. All right, guys. So, that's the end of the story. That is basically how my husband walked home to get to his family. Yes. And, um, was it really worth it? I don't really know. No, I wouldn't do it again. What did he do it again? I don't know. Uh, no, no. But actually, there's another story of how I walked (laughs) to him. (laughs) If you want to hear that story, go ahead and drop a comment down in the comment box and I will go ahead and tell that story. But you guys got to let me know if you want to hear it. Until Uh next time, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.